question is is this. You, I believe, were, were present uh, earlier this afternoon when Mr. Yamaguchi and his lawyer gave their presentation, and you will have heard that, uh, Mr. Yamaguchi and even more forcefully his lawyer um, accuse you explicitly of, of telling lies about a number of matters. Uh, one of them was that they say you told medical professionals that you had no memory of what had happened, but you later said that you did remember what had happened. There was also something about uh, a claim, uh, uh, an alleged claim in your book that uh, a relative who was, you had a relative who was a prosecutor, they say you don't. Could you address those accusations that, that you told lies and, and, and give us your reaction to those? The second question is, Mr. Yamaguchi clearly denied using any influence, bringing any of his influence to bear in having the arrest warrant and criminal investigation dropped. What are the reasons for thinking that actually he did use political influence to get the case dropped? Great, thank you. Um, Okay, um, so I'll briefly um, answer you for the first question, and maybe she want to fill up some um, after me. So sitting in this room to listen to his um, claims and statement, um, these things were we already have discussed, and which I have all answered in my book. <laughs> so um, the, his lawyer said he has read my book, but... If he really read it, what he had claimed, it's all in there. But um, I do have to, um, yes, uh, highlight about um, these, um, what I told to um, medical professional. I think women, helping women or supporting women, it's really essential for us to be empowered. I'm coming from working class and knowing that my voice as a woman always small. We just have to speak about it. And what I wanted to do when I spoke about my own experience was that, uh, you know, before I went to press conference, even my um, friends or the journalist, um, senior journalist told me that I should wear certain clothes to speak about it. I should behave a certain way so they would trust me. And that's what I was hearing from even police officers, investigators, that they questioned me that if you don't, you don't cry enough, you don't get upset, so we can't believe you. Of course I'm upset, but I have to just stay strong. And I it was so shocking that they have certain idea of victim that they can trust. So what I decided was whenever I'm speaking in public, I just behave myself. I don't want to wear this, you know, mask of victim because we, we live everyday life. You know, we're the same as you are. Sunrise is 
Yeah, for you. So come along and.